and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a letterpress text effect. We can do that using a rectangle first. I use the basic color swatches here. Let me create a text via the type tool and when I size that up I'll hold control. So the rectangle should be a little bit bigger than the text and the text should be bold, it looks better. In some Inkscape versions you can just select everything and then go to object and use difference. In my version I have to do it for every letter individually. So first I'll select the text, I go to object and ungroup it and then I shift click on the single letter and the uh, Rectangle in the background each time and then use path and difference. So I simply hold shift, click on one letter at a time, then on the rectangle in the background, go to path and difference. That way these letters are cutouts and we've got it transparent within the rectangle. So let me show you what that does. I create a rectangle. Let me make that red and I put it to the background. And you can now see the text is a cutout. In the first rectangle, that's what we want. Now right click and duplicate it and then make it black. So once again use the basic color swatches. I use the notes tool and now I select each side. And now I make that black rectangle on each side smaller. And then the yellow one. Right now the yellow one is in the background. But now I put the black one to the bottom and now I use the arrow keys down and to the right. Six to seven steps, that looks fine. And now I go to object fill and stroke and I increase the blur. So you can see I'm under fill, the flat color is chosen which is the black one here. And I increase the blur. Make sure that you've got the rectangle small enough so that the blur doesn't exceed the yellow rectangle. And afterwards go down with the opacity a little bit. So the exact values to depend on the color combination that you use and the intensity of the effect that you want to have. But I think that's fine. Now I create another rectangle and I need to increase the opacity once again. I'll put that to the bottom and now I use another yellow color. I like to use a darker yellow, so whatever color combination you use, it looks best when you've got the darker one in the background and the lighter one in the forefront, so like I did here with the yellow. And you can still switch the colors, but if you make it the other way around, so you make the inner one lighter and the outer one darker, it doesn't have the same effect, or at least I think it doesn't look that good. So whatever color combination you use, once again, use the light one in the forefront and the dark one in the background. Afterwards you only have to select it all and then go to file and export and you've got your letterpress text effect created in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.